Okay, so we want to define uh, what a median line is. Median lines only refer to triangles, and every triangle has three different median lines. Triangle has median line A, median line B, and median line C. Let's take a look at what these look like. So suppose I want to construct median line A. Well, median line A is going to go from vertice A to the opposite side, but at a very special point. The point that it crosses at is actually the midpoint of line segment BC. Let's take a look at median line B. Median line B goes from vertice B to the opposite side, again crossing at not the midpoint of BC, but the midpoint of AC. And lastly, here we have the midpoint or the median line of C goes from vertice C to the opposite side and again in this situation crosses at the midpoint of AB. Now notice here I crossed all three of these lines at the exact same point and that's a special characteristic that happens with median lines and this is a very special point that we're going to talk about later in a later video. But what's important here in our focus for today's lesson is what is the median line? A triangle has three different median lines. You have median line A that goes from the vertice A to the opposite side at the midpoint. Median line B goes from vertice B to the opposite side at its midpoint. And then median line C goes from vertice C to the opposite side, and in this case, the midpoint of AB. Okay, let's take a look at an example here actually calculating a median line. So this question here says find the median line from uh, vertex A if we have a triangle formed by the following three vertices. Okay, so to start us off here, let's just do a little sketch um, as to what this triangle looks like. Just getting a rough idea of where all these points exist. So I have point A is negative 3, negative 1. So maybe right about there is point A. Point B is 3, 5, so maybe right about here. And point C is going to be 7, negative 3, so maybe right about there. So if I connect these these um, three points together, it's going to form a triangle. Okay, and I want to. They want me to find the equation of median line A. So the equation of median line A goes from vertice A to the opposite side at the midpoint. Well, I don't know. This looks like maybe roughly the minimal midpoint. I could be wrong. Like this point could be below the x-axis or above as I've drawn it. It doesn't really matter. You're just using this as reference. So now what I want to do is actually create the equation of this line. Well, again, this is a special point. This is the midpoint of BC. I can actually calculate this. How do you calculate the midpoint? If you remember, we add up our x's and divide by 2 and add up our y's and divide by 2. Well, this is my, this is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So when I add up my x's and divide by 2, I'm going to add up my y's and divide by 2. So I'm getting my midpoint here is 5 and 1. So my midpoint here is 5 and 1. I now I also know what point A is. Point A is the point negative 3, negative 1. So what I have here is I want to find the equation of this line. I have this point, which is 5, 1. I have this point, which is negative 3, negative 1. So you're essentially just finding the equation of line given two points at this point. So I want to find uh, the equation of a median line A. Well, if I want to find the equation of median line A, I have the point negative 3, negative 1. And I also have the point, the midpoint BC, which is the point 5, 1. Now, again, if you don't remember how to calculate... Um, equations of lines given two points I'll link a video on uh, the top right hand corner you can click on that and it'll go through how you actually calculate the equation of a line given two points so at any rate here from here I want to go ahead now I've got this point here I've got this point here I want to calculate the equation of this line well we can quickly calculate the slope the slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so in this case here, I'll let this be x1, y1. I'll let this be x2, y2. And we get here a 1 minus negative 1 over 5 minus negative 3. And we get 2 over 8, which is a quarter. 
So the slope of this line that we've just found here, a slope of, of median line A is a quarter. I want to go ahead and find the equation now. So what do we have? Well, I know that y equals now 1 quarter x plus, I don't know that y-intercept. But I have two different points to choose from. I can either sub point 5, 1 into here and solve for b, or sub, sub point a, which is negative 3, negative 1 in. I'm going to go ahead and sub uh, the 5, 1 in. So I'm going to sub this point into my equation. So y is now 1, and x is 5. So I end up getting uh, 1 equals 5 quarters plus b. b equals 1 minus 5 quarters. So b is going to be negative a quarter here. Okay, So therefore, the equation of median line A has a slope of a quarter and a y-intercept of negative a quarter. So putting this all together here, uh, I'll just kind of write it down here. My answer, the equation of median line A is y is 1 quarter x minus a quarter. Okay, so that concludes uh, finding the equation of a median line. Um, if you need any additional help here, uh, at the end of this video, I'll link a video here. Uh, you can practice on actually calculating the equation line given two points. I'll also link a video for calculating the midpoint of a line segment as we needed here because you need both of those pieces here to sort of understand median lines. Uh, the main thing is to remember a median line of a triangle. There's three of them. All right, they all cross at a special point. We'll talk about what that point is at a later date. However, to find the equation of a median line, you're going to need two things. You're going to need the point, which is given to you in the question, and the, and the midpoint of the opposite side. Then you have two points, and you can go ahead and you can find the equation of that line. Thank you.